revitalization project. Now, part of that includes acquiring all the property needed, and the city has its eyes set on another one. News 3 reporter Brendan Ponton has the latest on the project. This is a multi-year effort to revitalize this area, and part of the next steps include the acquiring of this church building. The building is located on Holt Street in Norfolk, and the city council was scheduled to vote to buy the property for $1.2 million Tuesday night, but continued the vote to get more information about the property. It's owned by the Catholic Diocese of Richmond and has served as the office for Basilica of St. Mary of the Immaculate Conception. The church has since moved the office to another building. It's the latest piece of land the city of Norfolk has worked to acquire as part of the St. Paul's revitalization project. The multi-year project is transforming the Tidewater Gardens neighborhood. Two buildings are currently being built for housing, and the new neighborhood is called Kindred. The old public housing units are being demolished, and the city wants the flood-prone area to be a mixed-use, mixed-income development. All of the Tidewater Gardens neighbors have now been moved out, and the city says all of them have found housing elsewhere. They will have the option to move back in the future if they want. The city says about 54% of the families have said they would like to move back. There is another issue people say the residents of other St. Paul's neighborhoods continue to deal with, and that's a food desert. Food is a basic human need. Norfolk is time for a change. A fire at the nearby Family Dollar last summer has left the Calvert Square and Young Terrace neighborhoods without a nearby grocery store. The removal of the grocery store has caused women to either have to walk from their communities, which can be miles to the nearest Harris Teeter, or because transportation is an issue, get on the bus with your kids, go to the grocery store, wait for a bus. The city has said they continue to try and find a grocery store to operate here, and in the meantime, groups have offered food drives. At Kindred, construction is expected to continue through 2025 as the work continues to transform this area. In Norfolk, Brendan Ponton, News 3.